Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. So I've gotten some requests to do an updated skincare routine. Um, and I'm also gonna do a get ready with me just to stay inside since we're still in quarantine. And I think it's day 12. And today is Sunday, March 29th. And I'm kind of filming a little bit late. It's three. And I just did my hair, um, but I actually haven't worn makeup in 10 days. Um, so this will be interesting. I'm also not a professional makeup person. Like I just do what's good for my skin. So everything that I'm using today to get really good clear skin, I'm going to link down below in my description box so you guys can try it. These are the products that work for me. So hopefully they will work for you guys too. Keep watching so you can see my full updated skincare routine. Okay, so I currently do not have any makeup on right now, as you can see. This is what my skin looks like with no makeup. Okay, so the first thing that I do every single morning is I have these oil absorbing sheets because sometimes overnight your skin develops oil when you're sleeping. So usually I get it right here. So I use these and this is a portable case, but it comes like this. And this is from Clean and Clear. And basically it's just this little blue like paper and you just go like this. Basically wherever you have oil, and it absorbs the oil and gets all of the excess oil out of your skin. So I really like these. These are just one time use and they come in a little pack. So every morning I start by getting this out and getting the oil off my face. Next up, I usually wash my face and I use the Kylie Skin Facial Cleanser and basically it looks like this. This is actually a new bottle. The other one lasted me so long and I usually do two pumps. It recommends one, but I usually do two. I actually already washed my face, but I'm gonna wash it again so you guys can see I'm not wearing any makeup. I bought these clips at Ulta like a month ago and I'm barely using them now. Okay, so now that my hair is out of my face, I'm going to apply the facial cleanser. And I haven't done one of these videos in so long. My first actual video on YouTube was um, a get ready with me video and I kind of did a review of Kylie Skin's products. So I'm gonna also link that down below for you guys to watch because it's kind of embarrassing looking back on your first video. So usually I just let it sit as you can see and it starts just um, going into your face and it turns clear after a little bit. Now I'm going to rinse it off. So I rinsed off my face from the face wash and the next thing I like to do is apply the Kylie Skin Facial Moisturizer. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, um, if I have makeup on, I usually will remove it with this oil-free eye makeup remover from I got this from Target, I think. And then I just got little cotton pads and what I do is this. Now, I like this, but I like these better. So anyways, we're gonna apply some lotion. So I have a little bit of lotion in my hand, as you can see, and then I also use this Soothing Facial Serum from Arbonne. Um, I'm actually an independent consultant with them, and I love this. So I have the lotion in my hand and next I'm going to put in my hand the Calm Soothing Facial Serum. This is really good and it's good for sensitive skin or if you have acne prone skin. Um, it's from Arbonne. You can actually purchase this from my link below and there's a discount too. And so make sure you try this. It's really good. It's really good for your face. You just shake it a little bit and leave the top. And I only do a few drops, maybe two drops. And then I just mix it in my hands with the lotion. And then I apply it on my face. All 
Um, so as you can see, it goes on really well and it just hydrates your face, but it doesn't make you like super oily. It just gives you like a nice glow. So that's what it looks like. And it feels so nice on after you like apply it. Okay, so after I apply the serum and the lotion to my face, I go in with a soothing eye gel. So if you are like me and your sleep schedule is all crazy because of all of us being self-quarantined, um, I my eyes are getting so puffy underneath right here. And I also have this soothing eye gel from Arbonne, which by the way, you can also purchase this down below for my link. And I have have lotion, so it's hard to open. My favorite thing is that it's a roll-on thing. So you just roll it on underneath. And it will instantly, I use this at night too, and it basically just gets rid of the puffiness from your eyes. So this has been a lifesaver these last couple of days. So I really did it. I really recommend to try this out down below. Okay, and I forgot a step. So usually if I'm going outside, I want some type of protection on my skin from the sun. So I have this Josie Marin um, Daily Moisturizer. Usually I do a few droplets of this and mix it with my lotion and the facial serum and it helps protect your skin. Uh, this is like sunscreen and it's kind of thick so I usually use this with my lotion mix and it works pretty good. So basically that is my skincare routine. I just use a few products on my skin. I don't want to overwhelm it too much because then it'll start breaking out. But um, if you're having like acne problems or if you have sensitive skin, definitely recommend Arbonne products because they have a line specifically for those. Or if you have really dry skin, they have products for that as well. So next, I'm going to do a kind of get ready with me to stay inside because um, I haven't done my makeup in so long, so I want to like get all ready. And so, so usually on a typical day, if I'm like going, getting up and going to work, I'll do my skincare routine and then I'll do my makeup. So I'm not a huge makeup person, but I do normally wear eyeliner and a little bit of highlighter. And so I'm going to show you guys what I do. So I have this mineral primer oil free and it is from Bell, I think and this one's really good because you don't want your skin to be like super oily which I hate and the products make your skin like it brings out more oil but I use this as a primer and I've been using it for a long time and it works really well so like this And it goes on like so nice and it's such like a thin layer you don't even like you can't even tell that it's on there next I usually use eye cream for underneath my eyes and I use the one from Kylie skin I just apply a little bit to my finger and I love how it's like a yellow face you can see and then I just go in underneath Okay, so I'm very minimal on wearing eyeshadow. So we are gonna start with our eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use my Aspen Ovar Tarte palette. And I love Aspen's Tarte palette because it's so minimal in the colors, it's not like too crazy. It looks like this. It smells really good too. So I'm actually going to go in with the color Married Life and it is this one. I just go around like that and ignore my eyebrows. I know I need to get them done so bad but I don't want to do them by myself because I might mess them up and they are so bad, so just ignore them. And then the next color I'm gonna go in with is High School Sweetheart, which is this one. 
and it's just a little bit of a more like pink tone. And I go for a very minimal eye look. And then next, I wanna do Endless Summer. So this one, this one's honestly my favorite because it's like a really pretty shimmery gold. So it looks really good. And then I don't wear blush because my cheeks are already somewhat actually red, so I'm not going to do that. But that's usually all I do. So that's usually all I do for the eyes and it's like super basic and just like very minimalistic, but that's what I like for my eyes. I move on to do contour. So I actually do not wear foundation. Um, I usually just contour a little bit if I have time. If not, I just do eyebrows and eyeliner and mascara and then that's it. But today I have time and I'm going to show you guys. Next, I got this contour and highlight set from KKW for Christmas and I'm actually going to use it. These are really cool because they're double sided on both sides. So, go ahead and use this color for under the eyes. Okay, I look insane right now, but I use the light side for under my eyes and then I'm going to go in with this darker color and kind of do a more contour look. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit a little bit and then I'm going to do my eyelashes. So for my eyelashes, I use this curler and I've mentioned in other videos that my eyelashes they curl but then they go flat but I found this new mascara and it works so well so I found this new mascara from Arbonne it's called Speak Volumes Mascara and guys this is my favorite mascara lately because it works so well so, just apply a little bit and look at that. Look at this eye compared to this eye. It's insane how much this works. So, definitely buy this down below. You can use the discount, um, but this does not disappoint as you can see. So this is the one that has the mascara and this one doesn't. It was such a game changer for me because my eyelashes in the past, like I would curl them and apply mascara and nothing would ever keep them like up. And this one really works. So what I'm gonna do it to this eye. And look at that. It looks so much better. And that is the Speak Volumes Mascara. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this KKW Beauty brush. And I'm gonna actually use this side to blend in. Okay, so this is what it is when I contour and it looks so good. Usually I wear eyeliner but I haven't been wearing it the last couple of days and I actually really like it without eyeliner bone add. So the eyeliner I use is from Revlon. I'm actually gonna apply it down here. Alright so I applied the eyeliner and this is what it looks like. And last I'm going to apply my lip balm and it's the cutest thing. It came in this little diamond. I got it for Christmas. And that is the finished look. I'm actually going to let these down. So here is the finished look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this updated skincare routine plus a get ready with me on my makeup routine. And like I said, it is just so basic what I do. I just do a little bit, but it looks really good. 
So thank you guys so much for watching and all your support. Make sure you stay safe out there and leave a comment down below. Um, what is your favorite product I used today? And make sure to try Arbonne products. You will love it, especially, especially the mascara because my eyelashes never stay curled and with this, they stay curled and they look so good. So make sure to try this out. Um, I'm gonna link all the items that I use down below and thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.